Hey, it's your boy, Universal Munchie, and your boy is from Trenton, New Jersey, in America, you know what I'm saying? And this goes out to my Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Native American people, you know what I'm saying? Today we're going to be reacting to a grand entry 2018 Navajo uh, Nation 4th of July celebration, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is interesting, it's the 4th of July celebration, now why would my fellow Indians be celebrating the 4th of July, you know what I'm saying, um, of course we know what 4th of July is, it's the, you know, day of independence, you know what I'm saying, of the United States of America, but, um, that's after my people and my universal Indians all around the world, you know what I'm saying, have been discriminated against, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, we're going to celebrate this, uh, powwow type video shout out to neem or nm powwow videos youtube channel make sure you uh check out my description and hit that uh link so you can go and subscribe to the channel and catch and watch amazing powwow content on their channel so without further ado let me get into this reaction video hope you guys having a good day today you know what i'm saying if you guys want to teach me a uh navajo word please do Greetings would probably be the best way to start, so. So he said, so the, the there's a guy that's on a microphone or intercom or whatever he's using, but the guy that we're hearing says, I'm not sure if he says the whole group is from Mexico, but someone is from Mexico. So, one thing that I see is super interesting is their outfits. Very similar to Siberian, Mongolian, Turkic peoples. The attire is very similar. I could even throw maybe a little Persian in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, no cat. Okay, so I, I know, so these are supposed to be contestants. Why do you have numbers? Like this is NASCAR or something, or like this football or something. So each person is what being, uh, is in like a contest for the outfit, I'm guessing. And I noticed that each outfit, each person that's wearing, a, of course, a different color outfit, different variation outfit has, uh, okay, I'm not sure if they are matching, but whatever those things hanging or draped or draped on their arms on their left arm, left arm to our right, you know what I'm saying? But it's actually on their left arm. You know what? Oh, I see something. Hold on, let me let this person come a little closer. I think the line is gonna go this way. So, the girl that's in the red, I can point out a, a very similar Mongol outfit. Or is the similarity to the outfit? Why? That's crazy. I'm I'm about to show y'all the clip in this video, guys. Okay, so now remember what I said, right? And I know y'all see it before I can even say anything. But this is a Mongolian female woman. You see the similarity. You see it? Do you see it? Look at the outfit. That's a gorgeous outfit. And it's it's very similar. Look at it. Just look at it. Now, this video, just in case y'all guys want to know, you know what I'm, I'm going to leave the link in the description. I actually have a, a reaction video to this song. That's why I remembered it. I didn't even realize that's why I remembered it, but that is exactly why I remembered it. Um, this is a traditional Mongolian song music, and the song's called Three Beautiful Chestnut Mares. Okay? So, just to let you guys know, because, you know what I'm saying? So, let me just show y'all a couple more clips real quick in this video. 
just to show you this is a uh, tra traditional like look at this look at this look at her outfit y'all you can't tell me you don't see any type of similarities look at this one especially this one look at this one and she wasn't she you know in modern day times i wonder if all i mean i'm not gonna say all indians call themselves indians but i think at one point in time it didn't matter if you was asian or not if you were a certain color like me i'll call this to the butterscotch people or the red or the yellow people you know what i'm saying and um they try to so it's like those shades in between white until you get like like I said, like my complexion and then you get darker, but really like shades lighter than me. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can really see my skin complexion. You can see that I'm, my mom is uh, dark brown. You know what I'm saying? Like a mahogany brown, beautiful milk chocolate color skin. You know what I'm saying? Melanin skin. My dad is light skin. You know what I'm saying? And um, my, most of my mom, most of my family, my mom's side is uh, dark. And most of my family on my dad's side is actually light. So came out with you know you know how that works you know what i'm saying but just to want to show y'all the different and the similarities well really not the difference i don't know why i say difference i ain't mean to say difference i mean the similarities between the navajo people and the turkic people because Mongoli mongolians are considered basically turkey people you know what i'm saying Look at this outfit. This is one of my favorite shots in this video. Look at this, y'all. She's playing a Mongolian uh, violin with the horse uh, horse head on the neck. You know what I'm saying? Or the head of the guitar. I'm not sure the proper term for that, but uh, look, look at the colors of her outfit. Look at the very similar. You know what I'm saying? The embroidery, the hat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if someone actually had a hat similar to hers. In the video, but anyway, I digress. Let's get back into the video. the <clears throat> real name for the multicolor that the, I'm not going to say that the LBG2 community uses but the, you know um, I noticed the colors in, the, in most of the men's outfits they got the yellow red yellow purple like it's almost like the rainbow but it's not the full spectrum but I ain't gonna lie I love their outfits you got a couple of men and you got mainly females so far but look at this outfit. Look at this. I'm not sure. I think that's a. I'm not sure if that's a guy or not in the black. But I love this outfit right here. This is super nice. I mean, I love his too. I ain't gonna lie. Really, really nice. Oh! <laughs> is so fascinating it's like really fascinating like i never seen outfits like this like this except for people from siberia like i said earlier what the hell the mongol people turkey people anatolian people <laughs> avaz i mean uh, avar <laughs> That 
that color coordination, that black, green, and white is super nice. I really love that. Judah just walked past with the thing covering his face like some type of mythological god. Neon, these super bright colors, y'all. This is amazing. Wow. What? All that yellow just just brighten it, brighten it up my day. You know what I'm saying? saying tribal dance right there you know what i'm saying hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video this is going to be part one if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure you smash that like button make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications i'm actually going to be making a channel based on my native american people and my people yes you probably don't know but if you can't tell you know what i'm saying ain't my issue you know what i'm saying but we're going to get into that you know what i'm saying on the official you know what I'm saying? Universal Indian channel. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna probably be called that. It's probably gonna be called like Indian Munchie or something, Cherokee Munchie or something. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, did I just kinda let you know? Uh, anyway, I see you guys in the next one. Peace.